Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today we are going to discuss the question coin changing problem. So the question is given coins of different denominations, in this case 1, 5, 6 and 8 and a total 11, how many minimum coins would you need to get this total from these denominations assuming that there is infinite supply of coins. So in this case it would take two coins to get 11, 5 and 6. So how do we solve this? Using dynamic programming. Let's so so to build this we'll start with by building a two-dimensional temporary array which will store our intermediate states to get to lead towards a final answer. So on the row we'll have this numbers below to up to eleven. And the column will have these coins. All right. So how do we build this matrix? So let's start from one and one. Okay. Let's ignore everything else. If you have one total, and if you have just one coin, how many minimum number of coins would you need to would, would would you take to create this one so we know that it's one okay let's look at two if you just have two total and if you have just one to work with how many coins would it take to get two so we'll say two similarly we can fill this first row in this manner So what it means is, if we just had one coin of denomination 1, and if we want to get 11, so we'll need at least, we'll need exactly 11 coins of 1. So this is what this first row is representing. Now let's introduce 5 into the picture. So now we have total of 1, and we have two coins 1 and 5. Can we do any better than 1? I guess not, because 5 is not going to play any role here. So one again. So value is coming from the top. When the total is two and we have coins one and five, is five going to play any role? No. So value is coming from the top. Similarly, three and four. All right, let's look at five. Now, if you want to get five, and if you have two coins one and five, what is the minimum number of coins we'll need? We'll not need five, we'll need one. We'll just need one coin of five. So how did this one come from? This one comes from this one comes from the minimum of the guy in the top, or you go back five steps here. So this guy plus one. So minimum of five or zero plus one, which is one. All right, let's look at six. So if you have to get six and you have two coins, one and five. The minimum number of coin you will need is either six or one plus one, so two. So basically, we are going five steps back here. So we reach at one. We add one coin to it. So we reach. So we get two. So either two or the guy from the top. So minimum of the two, which is two in this case. This will be three. Four. Five. So here. So the mean so to get ten, we'll get we'll go five steps back and we'll be here. So the minimum number of coins will be one plus one, so two or ten, so two. And this will be three. So what it means is if we have coins one and five, and if you have to get total eleven, it'll take us at least three coins. So you see how we are solving the smaller problem to to get the solution for the bigger problem. Let's come to 6, all right? So we'll get the values from the top up till 5 because 6 is not going to play any role till 5. Okay. To get 6, we'll use 1 again because we go back 6 here, we get 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, all right? To get 7, we'll go back 6 here, so either 3 or 1 plus 1, 2, so 2. 
so three, four. So instead of doing this, we'll take the value from the top two. And finally, we'll go back six from 11, so one plus one, two. So how did we get this two? We go back six from here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one plus one coin of six, so two. So either two or the guy from the top, minimum of the two, which is two, so we'll keep two. Let's start for eight. So up till seven, eight is going to be the same. So for eight, we'll need one coin, so one. For nine, we'll say two, because we come back eight steps, so eight plus one, so two. For 10, we'll say three, so two plus one, three, or the guy from the top, so we'll use the guy from the top, so two. And for 11, we'll either say four, or the guy from the top, two, so two. So the final answer is two. So given coins of denomination one, five, six, and eight, and given a total 11, the minimum number of coins we'll need is two. Now if someone asks you, what are these coins? How do you get the answer? So we'll start from here. We'll say, where is this two coming from? Is it coming from the top or is it coming from this side? Clearly it's got this guy's coming from top. So we go up here. Where is this two coming from? This two is not coming from the top. So this two has to be coming from somewhere here. So we know that six is at least in the answer. So six, and we go back six steps from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we are here. Where is this one coming from? This is clearly coming from the top, so we go here. Where is this one coming from? This one is not coming from the top. So we go back five steps here, and five. And as soon as we reach the zeroth uh, column, we are done. So our answer is five and six, all right? So let's write the formula for this one. If j is greater than or equal to coin i, then t of i j is equal to main of t of i minus 1 t of i minus 1 j or 1 plus t of i j minus coin i else t of i j is equal to t of i minus 1, j. All right, I have a full solution at this link, github.com, mission piece, interview, VP. Please visit this page. Thank you.